हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस सेशन वी कंटिन्यू विथ अवर प्रीवियस एग्जांपल बट विथ स्लाइट मॉडिफिकेशन दिस विल बी अवर रेफरेंस बुक सो कंपेयर टू प्रीवियस एग्जांपल हियर वी कंसीडर वन टूल व्हिच इज वर्टिकली डाउनवर्ड विद द लेंथ l3 अदर थिंग रिमेन एज इट इज अवर जॉइंट लोकेशन फर्स्ट जॉइंट रोटेट्स अबाउट वर्टिकल एक्सिस बाय थीटा 1 this horizontal arm moving inward outward d2 is the instant uh, length of sliding theta 3 is the rotation of the tool uh, let us assign uh, joint numbers as well as coordinate axis so as uh, we do we always take uh, our base reference frame 0 and 1 coincident uh, which is located at the top horizontal arm we locate our coordinate system number 2 and tool point we, we will locate our coordinate system number 3 now as joint 1 is rotating about vertical axis so z1 uh, will be the motion axis so z0 z1 uh, will be coincident Joint number two is the horizontal arm, which is moving inward outward. So Z two uh, we will assign in the direction of motion. Let us say positive Z two is in, uh, directing towards right side. Joint three is a tool rotating about vertical axis. So we assign Z three as uh, it is uh, axis of rotation. Now uh, we have to determine uh, direction of X axis. For all the joints. Now we can see that uh, Z1 and Z2 are at 90 degree perpendicular, so link length will not be obtained. So we use definition of link twist to assign X1. So Z1 is vertical, Z2 is horizontal. Now we apply uh, right hand rule. Uh, that is uh, as per definition of alpha link twist we rotate uh, we uh, rotate uh, from z i minus 1 to z2 that is z1 to z2 and we will assign x1 axis at the joint one now joint 2 is a sliding arm uh, moving, uh, moving towards right side in positive direction so we can assign a d2 is a instant uh, length of the horizontal arm now as uh, second joint is sliding x2 uh, should show the distance d2 from x1 but we can see that z2 and z3 are again uh, perpendicular so we will use a uh, right hand rule so by taking right uh, rotation from z2 to z3 we can have direction of x2 which is pointing outward and we will assign x2 similarly we need to assign x3 again uh, align with x2 because joint 3 will be the last joint so when theta 3 equal to 0 x3 should align with x2 let us also assign y1 as well as y2 using right hand rule let us look at the ds parameter table so joint zero base frame and joint one will be coincident so 0 0 0 theta 1 will be our parameter for joint one now for joint two we have assigned axis x1 uh, using right hand rule perpendicular to both z1 z2 as z1 z2 are at 90 degree so alpha will be the 90 degree as z1 z2 intersecting so link length will be zero joint 2 is a horizontal sliding arm so we have d2 as the joint variable now we can look at x1 and x2 they are opposite so if we consider rotation from x1 to x2 we can write minus 180 degree as a offset angular offset between z1 and z2 similarly Uh, let us say uh, we, uh, for joint 
again we have assigned x2 uh, using right hand rule because z2 z3 are again 90 degree so link twist alpha is 90 degree as they are intersecting we have link length 0 the length of the tool l3 will be the part of uh, column d because l3 indicating distance uh, between x2 and x3 which is along z3 axis so this l3 we need to put in column of d t3 indicates the joint variable for joint 3 uh, let us uh, prepare uh, all transformation matrices so for joint 1 uh, by substituting into our general derivation for the transformation matrix, we get this particular matrix. Now for joint 2, by substituting A alpha D theta, we get this particular matrix and we can see that this rotation part indicating rotation by 90 degree about x axis. Similarly, position part showing 0 minus D2 0 which indicates it is moving by distance D2 towards negative Y1. For joint 3, this will be the matrix. Now here joint 3 is a rotating so we can have cos and sine components in the orientation part and positioning is showing 0 minus L3 is 0. Now L3 is seems to be towards positive Y2 but we have negative sign. So Y minus L3 though it is along plus Y2. Now if we recall definition of link offset, di is the signed distance measured along the axis of joint i. Hence z3 pointing positive upward, so by definition also it should be minus l3. And using general derivation of transformation matrix we also get minus l3. Hence we can see that our definition as well as our mathematical principle give us true result though it is plus y2. Now we can obtain the transformation matrix of joint 3 with respect to base frame by multiplying 0 t1, 1 t2, 2 t3 together and 0 t3 will be this final matrix. Now these are the position part of the 0 t3. As joint 1 rotates assembly in horizontal plane, hence x y coordinates are given by d2 sin theta 1 and d2 cos theta 1. Origin of base frame is taken at the top here so tool 3 joint 3 is located and downward and z coordinate will be minus l3 which is the length of the tool.